Hi everyone, welcome to Concentration of Solutions lesson number two. So beginning with our starter question. It's a multiple choice question and you're asked to work out which of the following solutions contains the least number of moles of solute. So if you just pause here, have a wee go at the question, the answer will be up in a second. Now our answer to this question was A. In order to work this out, you were using the relationship that we covered in the previous lesson of N equals CV. If you used that relationship, you would have worked out that N for A was 0 0.04 moles, which was the smallest number of A, B, C and D. Now, something that you had to remember was that your volume must be in litres for this calculation. For A, the volume was 100 centimetres cubed. In order to convert that to litres, we divided it by 1,000 to get 0 0.1, multiplied that by our concentration of 0 0.4, which gave us an N of 0 0.04 moles. And if you're unsure about this at all, have a wee look at the previous lesson, or you can drop me an email and I'll help you out. So for today's lesson, we're still learning about concentration of solutions. By the end of the lesson, you'll be able to apply your knowledge to calculate the concentration of a solution and also calculate what volume would be required to create a solution of precise concentration. Now let's just revise over what we learned in the previous lesson. The relationship between number of moles, concentration and volume can be represented by the equation N equals CV, which can be found in the data booklet. Now remember, N is your number of moles, C is your concentration and V is your volume of solution. Now really important, which we've covered already and I really can't stress enough, is that your volume must be in litres. Now the first thing we're going to look at today is calculating the concentration of a solution. Now if we rearrange our equation, we get C is equal to N over V. Now if you look at your triangle here, you can remember this by covering up your C value as what you want to know and that leaves you with N over V. So what we can see is that if we have the number of moles and the volume, we can use that to calculate concentration. So let's look at an example. 0 0.3 moles of solute are dissolved in 3 litres of water. What is the concentration? So as before, step one is to identify what we already know. And we can see from the question that our number of moles is 0 0.3. We don't know our concentration and our volume is 3 litres. Step 2 is to calculate what we want to know. So we want to know C. So remember C is equal to N over V. That's going to be equal to 0 0.3 divided by 3. And so our concentration is 0 0.1 moles per litre. If you want to pause here and copy that example down into your jotter. Now on to example number 2. 2.5 moles of solute are dissolved in 750 centimetres cubed of water. Calculate the concentration. As before, step 1, we write down what we know first. We can see from the question that we've got 2.5 moles of solute. We don't know the concentration. And we've got 750 centimetres cubed of water. Now remember, we need to convert that into litres, so we divide that by 1,000. So our volume is 0 0.75 litres. Step two, we can now use this to calculate our concentration. C equals N over V. That means C is equal to 2.5 divided by 0 0.75. Our, vo our concentration, sorry, would be 3.33 moles per litre. As always, important note, remember to convert the volume into litres. So again, if you want to pause here and copy this example down. Now that we're comfortable calculating the concentration of a solution, we're going to look at doing the same with our volume. So again, if we rearrange our N equals CV equation for V, we'll have V equals N over C. And we can check this again with our triangle. So cover up V and you'll see that N is above C. 
Okay, we can see here then that if we want to calculate the volume, we need the number of moles and the concentration. So again, let's look at some examples. Example number one. 0 0.4 moles of solute was dissolved in water to create a 0 0.8 mole per litre solution. Calculate the volume of this solution. Step one, as always, identify what we know. So we can see from the question that N is equal to 0 0.4 moles of solute. Our concentration is 0 0.8 moles per litre and we don't know our volume. Now it's really important to note at this point the difference between your number of moles and your concentration. Both has moles as a unit but your concentration unit is moles per litre. You can't get those muddled up. You need to make sure you're definitely happy with the difference between your number of moles and your concentration. Going on to step two to calculate what we want to know. We're looking for V, so we're using the relationship V equals N over C. That's 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.8, which will give us 0 0.5 litres. Just a wee point to note that your answer should, of course, be in litres because it's a volume. So as before, we just want to pause here and copy this example down. Okay, our final example. What volume of solution would have a concentration of 3.2 moles per litre and contain 8 moles of solute? Step 1, let's write down what we know already. So our N is 8 moles. Our concentration, our C value, is 3.2 moles per litre and we don't know our volume yet. Step 2, we can now work this out. V equals N over C, which is going to be 8 divided by 3.2. So our volume will be 2.5 litres. So for our final example, we pause one last time and copy this down. Okay, now so for some practice questions on this. Question 1 covers calculating concentration. Question two covers calculating volume. Remember, really important to make sure you're happy with all your units throughout. So your concentration unit is moles per litre. Your volume unit must be in litres. If it's in centimetres cubed or millilitres, you're going to have to convert that first. If you're unsure with anything in this exercise at all, just drop me an email. I'm happy to go through it with you. So just to confirm what we should have learned in this lesson. So we were learning about concentration of solutions. We should now be able to apply our knowledge to calculate the concentration of a solution and also be able to calculate what volume is required to create a solution of precise concentration. If you're unsure of any of that at all, just let me know and I'll give you a hand.